high school. 16 points. Kumasi High School, 17 points. Swedru Secondary School, 18 points. And that brings us to round two. This is where we have the speed race. And in this round, unlike the first, each question that is read out is open to all the schools at the same time. So if you believe you have an answer, you ring your bell, I'll stop and allow you to give your answer. If it's the first school and your answer is correct, you have three points. A second attempt will, give, will end two points if the answer is correct. And a third attempt, one point if the answer is correct. At any time, if you give an incorrect answer, there's a penalty point of one. When you ring the bell, you have three seconds to compose yourself and begin your answer. If after three seconds, you haven't started on your answer, you are not giving your answer promptly, I'll move on to the next school and you lose a point. Also, when you ring your bell, wait for the name of your school to be called before you proceed with your answer to ensure that you are the right school and you don't give your answer away. The Speed Race is proudly sponsored by Trasta AI, your real-world experience. Our first question for the Speed Race. Given the vectors A equals 2i plus 3j and B equals 4i minus 3j, find the scalar product of the vectors A plus B and A minus B. Yes, way Drew. Go ahead. Negative 12. That's correct. Find the range of the function. So y equals a fraction. Numerator is 4x plus 3. Denominator is 3x. Y is such that y is a member of all real numbers except y equals 4 over 3. Yes, that's correct. So y is a real number and y is not equal to 4 over 3. Given that sine A equals 3 on 5 and cos B equals negative 1 on 2 and A and B are both obtuse, evaluate cos of the expression A minus B. Yes, and lost in your high school. A fraction with numerator 5 root 3 minus 4 and denominator 10. No. Who else rang their bell? Yes, Redru. A fraction with numerator negative 4 plus 3 root 3 and denominator 10. No. Did you ring your bell? Kumasi hi. Negative. Negative root three over four plus a fraction with numerator twelve and denominator twenty five. No. So I have two on five plus root three on ten. Given the standard heat of formation in kilojoules per mole of ammonia, nitrogen monoxide, and water as negative 45, positive 90, and negative 240 respectively, determine the standard enthalpy change for the combustion of ammonia in the reaction for H. 4NH3 gas plus 5O2 gas goes to 4NO gas plus 6H2O gas.
Yes, and Law Senior High School. We have positive 64 kilojoules. No. Swedro Secondary School. Negative 90 kilojoules. No. Have you rang a bell? Have they? Okay. 900 kilojoules. Yes, it's negative 900 kilojoules. So if you ring your bell and I've asked, you have to say yes. Because if you rang it and you don't give an answer, it's still minus one. So you might as well. Give the simplest ratio of coefficients of reactants and products in the same order as in the reaction, zinc hydroxide plus sulfuric acid goes to zinc sulfate plus water. Yes, Swedru Secondary School. Uh, one is to one is to one is to one. No. Um, Kumasi High. One is to one is to one is to two. No. That's correct. Yeah. Yeah. That's correct. What name is given to the process by which certain toxic substances accumulate in biomagnification? That's correct. <laughs> what is the primary function of the Krebs cycle? Massey High. The production of a T P and N A D P H. No. no. And law. Production of carbon dioxide. And production of what? Carbon dioxide. No. It's to produce high energy electron carriers. So examples are NADH and FADH2. In an energy pyramid, which level contains the most? The first trophic level. That's correct. <laughs> Find the maximum magnitude of the acceleration of a simple harmonic oscillator of amplitude 5.00 centimeters and frequency 8.00 hertz. Third row secondary. 3.2 by 10 to an exponent of negative 1 meters per second squared. No. Massy high. Two point four zero meters per second. No. And law. Three point two meters per second squared. No. I have one hundred and twenty six meters per second squared. The magnitude of the resultant of two forces is 50 newtons. And the magnitude of one of these forces is 40 newtons. Find the magnitude of the second force. 30 newtons. No. Yes, uh, and law, senior high school. 60 newtons. No. So, did you ring your bell? Okay. If the angle between the forces is 180 degrees, Ninety newtons. Find the force on a particle moving in a region where the potential energy function is V of X comma Y comma Z equals negative 
ax squared, where a is a constant. Ma say hi. Yeah. Negative two A X I or in Newton. No. It's two A X I. That brings us to the end of round two.